Hello, hello. Let's talk for a minute about flanking in Dungeons & Dragons, particularly Dungeons & Dragons 5e, which is the main one that I play, because um, I'm late to the party. I should have been playing in high school like all the other cool kids, but I only discovered role-playing uh, after college, so that's a whole different tangent. Um, flanking. Uh, in one of my games, we had a discussion about um, how flanking works specifically, um, because we had a, a ranged spellcaster who was coming from the opposite direction of a large creature that was attacking the party, um, and he wanted to get advantage on his range attacks. And at first I was like, yeah, sure, they're totally flanked. This creature has its back to you, why not? But then we looked up rules as written, and um, the rules as written is that if uh, a creature is determined, or if a target is determined flanked by the DM, um, melee attacks against that target melee attacks against that target get advantage um whereas ranged attacks are unaffected they operate as normal so i kind of put it out to my players um i said how do you want to do this because i can totally see especially like a large creature if it's engaging the party and its back's completely turned to a ranged spellcaster you know at first i was like those should hit uh barring a, a, a low a low odds miss from the the spellcaster or, or firing a ranged weapon, whatever. Um, but then I thought about it, too, and that doesn't uh, take into effect uh, armor of the target, you know, um, because if you have something that has very thick armor or very high defenses up, and it is flanked, it still has those defenses against a target that's shooting it at its back. So I postulated it to the group. We decided to go with rules as written. Um, and just the thing that one of my players pointed out that was very wise is that if uh, if you choose to allow ranged to get advantage on flank targets, that applies to player characters as well. So, something to consider. Um, but yeah, we decided to go with rules as written, uh, only giving melee attacks the advantage. Um, and then there's some cool graphs online you can find about what angles determine flanking. Um, but it really is at the, at the DM's discretion. So, I'd love to hear what everyone's thoughts are on flanking. Post in the comments below. Be sure to like and follow. Let us know what you think and what's worked in your games or what hasn't worked. We'd love to hear about it. So thank you for letting me ramble about flanking for a few minutes today. Hope everyone's having a great day.